Hello, good morning everybody. Today again I will take your science class. Okay. So today again I will also tell you about the safety rules. Have you read the safety rules? Have you read about the safety rules? What are, yes, so no problem for that. And nowadays you are not coming out from your home. But in your home also you should maintain the safety rules. Safety rules is not only for the road. Safety rule is for that school also, is for home also. Always you should stay safe in your home. Stay safe and healthy also. So what will you do if you want to stay safe? So you have to maintain some rules in your daily life. So here safety rules on the road, safety rules on the road, you know that most of the students you are staying in Bardwan or nearby. So here you have seen that signal, traffic light and traffic lights you know that. traffic lights you will get like this and first one you know that that is red after that it is green and after that it is yellow so this one is red after that green and next one yellow okay so these things you know that meaning I think you have read already so you know that meaning also besides that I am just telling once again red means red light means stop green light means go and yellow means wait or slow okay so yellow obviously it is wait Here, when in your exam, when your exam will be held, you have to write that also like this, and also you have to draw these traffic lights with color: green go, yellow wait, and red stop. Another thing also you have to learn when you cross the road. First you have to say your left, then you have to see your right, then again left, then you can cross the road. Okay, now you are child, always you are going with your father and mother or any elders. So please listen to your elders when you are crossing the road. But you should know the rule, if somebody is not meant Maintaining the rule, you should tell them that please uncle or please friend, please maintain the rule of the road. Then what will happen? We all will be stay safe and healthy, will not do any accident in the road. So this is the main rule and other so many rules are there. Nowadays we are always talking in our mobile phone. So when somebody is crossing the road, somebody is driving also, they should not use mobile phone for talking with someone. That is very important. Someone riding means riding scooter, riding uh, cycle also they should not use mobile phone. But if somebody is calling, you can ask me, it's ma'am, it is emergency call. So you have to stop it and you should not ride it at that time. You should not drive it at that time. You can 
just stand for some time you can wait for some time then you can hold the call okay next this is the the safety rule on the road and also another thing is there which one there is a zebra crossing in the road do you know what is the zebra crossing for the zebra crossing is for that people those who are walking on the road and those who want to cross the road okay that is for the zebra crossing on that place we can cross the road and those who are walking on the road and next for you people for children now you are not coming school but when you will be coming to school when you are waiting for your school bus what will you do you should stand in a queue when the bus will come school bus will come that time one by one you should get up in the bus you should not talk you should not talk means you should not talk near by the driver uncle because he will be feeling disturbed and you should not eat so many things in the bus because school bus or any vehicle if you are eating and you are spreading somewhere it will be dirty okay so these things you should maintain when you will just get in the school bus not only the school bus or any bus or train after that you should not lean out of the window okay and not only that not only you should not and your hand your anything you should keep always inside the bus because you don't know from the back side any vehicle will come or any tree will come okay so that's the nice thing you should maintain and after that in your home nowadays i have just told you you are in a home home also you are having so many safety rules first one you should not jump from the stairs most of the person you are having stairs you should not jump or run from the stair you should not jump to your bed and when you are using some scissor knife for your spw first of all you should not use scissor knife everything but if you are using this type of thing you should use with your parents and for the toys you should always keep your toys in proper place okay after playing the toys you should keep in your proper place so that is the safety rule in our home and for the switch in or off please don't touch the switch with your wet hand and you are now i am just telling you are children means too much small now so don't put on or put off that light or fan without your parents or elder please ask them and with them you should put on or off the switch of the electric lights or fan okay so and next for that this how school also when you will come that time will tell the safety rules of the school and you should not uh, here when you are going to the park you should stand in a queue the next one you will get the chance you should always wait for your turn if you are giving their turn you will also one day you will get turn okay so next time you can see that and and here sometime also swimming pool swimming tube everything there also 
you should think about that okay think about that means that water you should play but with your guardians not alone you should not go any swimming pool any bathtub alone because that is also very dangerous if you are jumping if you are just um playing with water you don't know how much water is there and always i am telling don't do, do you should do, do you should not do this is the safety rules but this time you will what you will do you will draw like these things in your home and also what you can do you can make a list that i should do or i should not do so i can ask something so fill in the blanks you can do that with me what you will do please listen that that just i am telling that and you should fill in the blanks in the blanks with appropriate words number 1 we must cross in the dash and dash please tell that number 2 one word here they have given the pedestrian green light tells us to go to cross the road at the zebra crossing so here post of has written that that zebra crossing okay so pedestrian lights you have seen that so it is red and green only so green also there is a sign of the person they have given when this green for the person sign that is also we have to think that and we at that time we will just cross the road okay number 2 we must we must always walk on the dash so first one everybody has answered the zebra crossing second one foot path third one we must not disturb the dash and dash in the bus so we must not disturb the bus driver in the bus okay i think you have understood and after that number 4 number 4 another things they have given that we must not take dash without taking permission from our friend sorry permission from our parents permission of our parents so you must not take medicine very good so you have answered that kostob shovik 
mistake. Uh, you should write your name. What is your name, Vida? Please write, okay? Devan also has written that, that we should. We must not disturb the driver. And also, they have given that. Number five, we must not use dash and dash use or we must not play we can write we must not play dash and dash so it can after full stop we can write it can hurt us So we must not play knives and scissors. It can hurt us. Okay. So all these type of fill in the blank, sharp object also. But sharp object is one another thing. So here knife and scissors you can write. Number six, another thing so we can write there that we must have a first aid box in our home. So here, what is the first aid box? If we hurt something, you know that you are when you are in KG, somebody is hurt, so what that a teacher has done, sometime it will wash. So we, we should wash the wound and after that we can clean our wound and give the bandage or medicine. So for these things, we should keep a first aid box, okay? So please, we can write that we should keep dash box in our home. A first aid box okay not only our home home class car and school bus so that is the thing so please maintain all this rule to your home to your school and also in the road so safety rule uh, safety rule is that you, if you maintain you will be safe and also stay healthy in your home. And nowadays I think you are eating also very healthy food to your home and uh, because you should not eat this time any outside food, junk food, you should put, you should take that fruit, vegetables and also milk and healthy food from your home or for your um, that homemade things okay from your mother's making all these things okay beta thank you and have a nice day if you are having any problem ask me okay no uh, okay bye beta